Hello, hello. Hello. Good night. Hey, Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Good evening. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's a pleasure. Rocio, Luis, welcome. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Luis. It's a pleasure to listen to you. Okay, Rocio, Dinora, Josabet, welcome to the class. Good. Now we're going to practice a lot today. Vamos a practicar bastante. So let's start with the PowerPoint presentation, right? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, pre-intermediate module number one, right? The topics for today, we're going to practice a conversation of families, your family, right? Family members. Uh, and we're going to practice the present continuous, the present continuous, right? Asking about families and the present continuous, right? Okay, now. Let's begin with the lesson objective, right? Lesson objective. Please, Mirna. Hello, welcome, Mirna. Can you read the objective, please? Okay, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Come on, read. <laughs> In this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Thank you very much. So, a conversation now. What vocabulary are we going to see in this conversation? Listen to the vocabulary, please. Government, project, wildlife, away, college. Good. Uh, Luis, how do you say government in Spanish? Gobierno. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mirna. And project. Again, Luis, can you help me, Luis, with project? How do you say project in Spanish? Luis, can you hear me? Uh, proyecto. Thank you very much. Mauricio Alarcón, how do you say wildlife in Spanish? Uh, vida salvaje. Excellent. Very good, right? So, is translation the life in uh, matrimony. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. The life in the jungle, right? Okay, now, please, Rocio. How do you say away, Rocio, in Spanish? Mm, lejos. Very good. So we can say, for example, Mexico is kilometers away, right? It's very far. Now, Dinora, how do you say college in Spanish? Dinora? Hello, hello, Dinora. Can you hear me? Eh, perdón, teacher, se me había trabado. Eh, universidad. Ah, correct. Very good. Universidad, university, right? So, college is like, like similar, very similar to university. I never say, college, ah, es colegio. No, no, no. It's not. In English, colegio, you say school, right? Okie dokie, now let's continue. Ah, job, sorry, I was forgetting job, right? Uh, Josabet, how do you say job in Spanish? Como teacher? How do you say job in Spanish? Trabajo. Yes, or o occupation. Empleo. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, Josabet. Now, Let's go to the second part, right? What are we going to do in the second part? Christina, can you read the, the objective for the class, please, Christina? Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. At, at the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. Thank you very much. So the use of the present continuous, right? Now look. When do we use the present continuous? 
attention. The present continuous expresses actions in progress now. Acciones que están en progreso ahorita. For example, Silvia is uh, having an English class, right? Mirna, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mirna is watching her computer. Mauricio Alarcón is, is listening to the teacher. Okay. Cristina is drinking coffee. Bueno, no sé si está tomando cafecito, pero... <laughs> okay, but it's an example, right? Cristina is drinking coffee in this moment, right now, right? Ahorita mismo. So that's the use of the present continuous. It's an, it's, uh, an action that is in progress. It's continuous, right? Okay. Good. How do you make a present continuous? You use a form of the verb to be in present, am, um, are, or is, and a present participle. And then what is a present participle? Un presente participle, right? Is what we say in Spanish, ando, endo, right? Yo estoy corriendo, yo estoy bebiendo, yo estoy eh, volando, estoy cambiando, estoy eh, construyendo. So, ando, endo. So, this is the present participle, right? That's the present participle. So, we are going to use two things. The verb to be plus a present participle, okay? Para hacer el presente continuo o el presente progresivo, Vamos a usar el verbo to be más un presente participio. Example, affirmative, right? The subject, I, in this case, the verb to be am, um, the verb watch, watch, plus ing, ing, right? And then the complement, TV. So you say, I am watching TV. I am watching TV. You are shaving. Shaving right now. You are shaving right now. Está rasurando ahorita. Shaving, right? Okay. And she is getting money. Oh, money. She is getting money. So again, the subject she, the verb to be is, the verb get plus ing, right? And the complement money. Good. This is when we have affirmative statement, right? So please repeat after me. I am watching TV. You are shaving right now. She is getting money. Good, now in negative. In negative, we have the word not with the verb to be. No to the present participle. No le vamos a agregar el no al presente participio, sino que al verbo to be, right? Look at the example. We are not making lunch. If you want to make contractions with the verb to be, so you're going to say, we aren't making lunch. Or you can say contraction with the subject, we're not. We're not making lunch. So you have two options to make contraction, right? Now, Carlos is not reading a book. Oh, Carlos isn't reading a book. She is not. She is not. In a second, listening to music. Listening to music. She is not listening to music. Right? Now, please, repeat after me. We are not making lunch. Carlos is not reading a book. She is not listening to music. Okay. Now, let's see, let's watch how to form the present participle. ¿Cuáles son las reglas para hacer presente participio? ¿O cómo le agregamos ing a los verbos? Okay, so number one, add ing to most verbs. A la mayoría de verbos, solo le vamos a agregar ing. 
inclusive los que terminan con Y, como, como study, por ejemplo, siempre solo le vamos a agregar la I en el orden, right? Example, watch, watch, right? If the verse ends in E, si el verbo termina en E, drop, eliminar, borrar, destruir, apartar, caput, the letter E, quitamos la letra E, en ING. Example, make. So we say making, right? Ya borramos la E. Other example could be invite, inviting, etc., 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 right? And then the last rule, la regla número tres, dice, right, that if we have the formula consonant, vowel, consonant, we are going to add ing and double the last consonant, right? Si el verbo tiene una consonante, una vocal y una consonante, vamos a doblar la última consonante. En el caso de get, la última consonante es e. So we're going to say tt. Y luego le agregamos ing, right? These are the rules, right? Okay, now, repeat after me, the negative, please. Repeat after me. We aren't making lunch. Carlos is not reading a book. She is not listening to music. Okay, aquí es donde aplicamos las reglas. Making. Making. Cristina, making is rule number one, rule number two, or rule number three. Making. ¿Qué regla sería, Cristina? This mm, rule number two. Number two. Thank you very much. Because you eliminate the E and then you add ING, right? Okay, Mauricio, in the rule, no, in the, sorry, the sentence number two, Carlos is not reading a book. Mauricio, what rule are we using? ¿Qué regla estamos usando? La regla uno, dos o tres. La uno, teacher. Number one, congratulations, number one, right? And number three, she is not listening. Uh, sorry, no, 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 vamos a irnos arriba, mejor. Aquí no puse ejemplo de esta. She is getting money, she is getting money, right? Eh, Rocío, what rule are we using in getting? Rule number one, rule number two, or rule number three? Uh, rule number three. Thank you. Rule number three, right? And then I will show you what rule I'm using, right? Yo le voy a enseñar la regla que estoy usando. Esta. This one, right? <laughs> okay, sorry. That, that was a joke. Now, please. Do you have any questions, Paz, about the use of the present continuous? And how to make present participle? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Hola. Yes, tell me, Karen. Y para saber las reglas, que no sé si es mi inter, pero a ver, se trabó la... Casi no la escuché para saber las ah, reglas. Okay. Eh, perdón, Karen, solo quiero verificar si, si soy yo, porque si soy yo ya me olvidé, porque tengo que repetir todo, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, Adi, ¿usted me escuchó bien, Adi? Sí, dicho. Sí, sí, ah, vaya. Ah, pues sí, Karen, entonces quizás el internet tuvo un bajoncito el... ahí en su, en su, en su casa. No ah. importa. Yo ya lo repito. Listen, listen, please. Tenemos tres reglas, Karen. La número uno, no es esta regla. <risa> no, la regla número uno es que a la mayoría de verbos le va a agregar ING. ¿Sí? Solo ING y solo le agrega el verbo ahí, las tres letritas y ya está. Y va a decir, watch, watching. Mirar, observar. Mirando, observando. ¿eh? Porque el ING lo que indica en español es ando, endo. Observando, comiendo, bebiendo, etc. Etcétera, etcétera. Rule number two. La regla número dos es si el verbo termina en E, le eliminamos la E y luego le agregamos ING al verbo. ¿verdad? Como en el caso de make, le eliminamos la E y luego le ponemos la ING. Y por último, si el verbo tiene... Una sola consonante, una sola vocal y una consonante, es decir, las dos consonantes le hacen el sándwich a la, a la vocal. Entonces vamos a doblarle la última consonante. Por ejemplo, en el caso de shop, comprar, shopping, le vamos a doblar la última consonante que es la P, shopping, pp, y luego ing. 
O en el caso de get, que es el que está aquí en el ejemplo, la última consonante es la E. Entonces vamos a decir IT. Y luego le agregamos ING. ¿Ok, Karen? Sí, sí. Dos Gracias. Sí, ¿Sí las entendió, Karen? Sí. O sea, otra cosa es ya memorizársela. Ok, es lo que cuesta. Ok, thank you, Karen. No, let's continue. Any other question? This is the most difficult part, class. Esta parte es la más difícil, así que si tienen una pregunta, así como Karen, me fascina que me hagan preguntas. Do you have questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me, please. Y cuando terminan en Y. Solo se le agrega ING. Let me tell you this example, please. Look at this example, right? Pleasure. For example, study. 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 O por ahí me están diciendo un ejemplo también. Pay. Play. ¿Ok? A diferencia del pasado simple, ¿verdad? Que ahí hay una transformación. En el presente continuo no hay transformación. Cuando termina en Y, solo le vamos a agregar ING. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's continue, please. Now, oops. Give me a second here, right? Aquí estamos. Now. Now, the present continuous, yes, no questions. Remember, I said that in all the structures, we have affirmative, negative, and question. So today, we're going to start working with yes, no question. Look at the structure. The verb to be, the subject you, the verb check, plus ing. And then the complement, right? Now, listen, when I say a sentence, sorry, when I say a sentence, I say, you are checking your WhatsApp, right? But when I want to change this sentence into a question, listen, I, I change the position of the verb to be with the subject. Huh? I change the interchange, right? Or I switch, if you want to say, right? I switch the, the verb to be with the subject. And instead of saying you are, I say, are you? Are you checking your WhatsApp? Right? Or the example is, are they running right now? Notice that I have the verb check. I have the, the, the word, the letter, sorry, I-N-G. Run, I-N-G. In the case of run, I say double N. Remember the rule? Because it's consonant, vowel, consonant. You double the last consonant. And then you add ing, right? Good. And then other example: Is Carol listening to music? Is Carol listening to music? Good. Please repeat after me. Are you checking your WhatsApp? Are they running right now? Is Carol listening to music? Okay, now notice how do you answer this question, right? Are you checking your WhatsApp? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Are they running right now? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Oh, no, they aren't. Is Carol listening to music? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. So these questions are answered only with yes or no, or yes or no. Simple like that, right? No more. Don't say more. Just yes or no, right? Now let's go to the second category of question. Information question, right? In the information question, we use words like what, where, when, who, why, por qué, cómo, dónde, quién, cuándo, etc., etc., right? In this case, where are my friends fishing? En donde están pescando mis amigos, right? So I am asking about where. Imagine I said the question, where are my friends fishing today? <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, no, come on. It's incorrect. This question is not yes, no. This question is specific information. 
If I say, where are my friends fishing today? I say, in La Libertad, right? Because La Libertad is a place. So where are my friends fishing today? Oh, my friends are in La Libertad. They are fishing in La Libertad. Okay? Or say, but they are in La Libertad, right? Okay? Now, next quick, next example. What is he wearing now? Que es lo que él está usando, vestiendo, right? So what, because I say what, I'm asking about a thing. Estoy preguntando sobre algo. Is abstract or is concrete, right? Abstracto o concreto. En este caso, algo concreto, ropa, right? What is he wearing now? He's wearing a t-shirt. Or he's wearing a, a, a polo shirt, right? And, and pants and shoes, right? That's what, that's what you can say, right? What is he wearing? But never say yes or no. You say specifically in English, okay? When are they sleeping right now? No, okay, but I guess it's, aquí tenemos que eliminar right now, porque no, no tiene lógica, right? When are they sleeping? They are sleeping right now. Sorry, vamos a corregir aquí. Give me a second. Por aquí... Hay un pequeño rulcito, give me a second. Ok. Okidoki. Ok. Sorry, sorry, class. Ahorita les comparto la pantalla, sorry. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Tiene logic, okay. When are you sleeping? When are you sleeping? So I say, when are you sleeping? I am sleeping right now. Right? So I'm asking about uh, time. Time, right? But Aunque realmente aquí también está rara la pregunta porque nadie puede contestar. Estoy durmiendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Ok, sorry, voy a disculpar que le elaboré mal esta pregunta. Tuve que haber usado otro verbo. Sí, porque es la única pregunta que jamás se contesta afirmativamente, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, a nadie le puede preguntar, ¿eh, ¿estás durmiendo? Sí, sí, estoy durmiendo. Nadie puede decir, ¿o cuándo estás durmiendo? Sí. Entonces, pero lo, lo importante, the most important part is, right? Que cuando uso when, tengo que contestar con tiempo, con tiempo específico. Ese era la, el objetivo de, de elaborar esta pregunta. Ok, please, repeat after me. Where are my friends fishing today? What is he wearing now? Y le vamos a cambiar el sujeto para que tengan lógica. When are they sleeping? When are they sleeping? Good. Now, any question, class? Any question? Attention. Yes, thank you, thank you. Attention. This is very important. Very basic. Es súper importante que ustedes sepan distinguir entre las preguntas de sí y no y las preguntas de información. So, I ask again. Pregunto nuevamente. ¿Hay, hay dudas? ¿Cómo formar las preguntas de sí y no? ¿Y cómo hacer las preguntas de information? Ok. So, now I will prove you. Vamos a ver si es cierto que se entendió. Practice. Ladies and gentlemen, I will ask, right? And I will give you time. Look, this is my sound clock. Reloj de arena. Tic, 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 ok? Now I will ask you and you have to answer, right? When the time is over, when the time is finished, I will make this, look. Time is over, right? Okay, so you are going to answer this question. Depending, right? If the question is yes, no, or if the question is information question, no. Larissa, Marti, ladies and gentlemen, Larissa. Yes. Larissa. 
Are you studying? Yes, I am studying. Excellent. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Vamos a Alfredo. Espero que haya resuelto el problema con el micrófono. Alfredo, vamos a ver si me puede contestar esta. Alfredo, are they relaxing? Yes, they're rela relaxing. Excellent. Yes, they are relaxing. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Alfredo. Now, please, Kenneth. What are they cooking, Kenneth? What are they cooking? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm thinking. Tick tac, tick tac, tick tac, tick tac. They are. They are. And it's over. Um, sorry. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. They are cooking a biscuit. Excellent. Very good, Kenneth. Good. Abby. Is she moving to a new house, Abby? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Correct. Love it. Where are they playing? Where are they playing? Do you know? Mm, they are. Uh, they are playing in the stadium. Okay, that's good. They are playing in the stadium. Uh, right. the stadium, yes. Yeah. Excellent, right? Like Alianza yesterday, right? We see them. Right? <laughs> now, please, Dinora, ladies and gentlemen, Dinora, are we getting the money? Quiero ver. Eh, teacher, eh, no recuerdo qué significa Gary. Ah, obteniendo o ganando. Ah, ok, quiero ver. We are. Uh, are we? Are we getting the money? Tienen que saber distinguir entre las preguntas de sí y no y las preguntas de información. Vamos a ver. No, quiero no, ver. No. Eh, no, no, okay. So Jennifer is going to help us, right? Jennifer, Jennifer no va a ayudar. Jennifer? Yes. Please answer the question. Are we getting the money? Um, no. No. No, we not. No, we aren't, Jennifer. Aren't. No, we aren't. Okay. Oh, yes, we are, right? Yes, we are or no, we aren't. Good. The next one, Sylvia. Ready? Is yes, he teacher. Friend? Welcome. Now, please, is he buying a car, Sylvia? Uh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't, right? Correct. Correct. Good. Now, Cristina, when are they exercising? Mm, they are exercising in the morning. Correct. Very good. Rocio, is the cat sleeping? Yes. Yes, what? <laughs> he. Uh -huh. He is. Yes, he is. Listen, we can say yes, it is, right? Pero como muchas personas consideran los gatos y a los perros como personas, pues digamos, yes, he is. Pero normalmente, yes, yes it is, cuando es un animal, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Now let's go to the platform, right? Do you have any extra question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra? No, okay, good. Now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform, right? 
Okay. Let me see. We're going to practice this conversation. Pay attention, please. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Now listen again and repeat, please. Repeat after me. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Government. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. And you can see the sister here in the picture, right? Now repeat, she is working on a very secret project right now. Right now, project, very secret. Working. She is working on a very secret project right now. She is working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? What about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. Photographer. Wild life. Wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no. My sister's away. My sister is away. My sister's away. She's not working. She's not working in the United States this month. Month. United States. States. United States. United. United. Working. She's not working. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. When I say the Amazon, no es la tienda, sino que el, de verdad es la, la Amazonas, ¿verdad? En Brasil. Okay, now. Uh, any question about vocabulary? No teacher. No question. Okay, good. Now, please. Oopsie. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat, please. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. 
Come on, repeat. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Good. Now, I need two volunteers, Rita and Sue. Two volunteers, right? Rita and Sue. Practice the conversation, please. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay. teacher. Okay, your name, please. Your names? Mirna. Jennifer. Mir uh, Mirna and Jennifer. Okay, Mirna. You are Rita. Rita, right? Okay, teacher. Tell me and about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on the very secret prior right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's wildlife photographer. What I are interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Now listen. Month. Month. Wildlife. 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 Pho mm -hmm. Photographer. Photographer. And then listen. He says, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Right. And this pronunciation is very interesting. Look, my sister's, my sister's, my sister's away. Right. But you have to say this. My sister's, my sister's away. Right. Good, thank you very much. Now, please, two more volunteers and we continue. Two more volunteers. I need another Rita and I need another Sue. To practice, please. Me, teacher. Christina. Christina, thank you. Thank you, Christina. Okay, Christina, anybody else? Okay. Uh, Me, teacher. Okay, Christina. And Abby. Abby, thank you, Abby. Okay, so Christina, you're Rita. Abby, you're Sue. One, two, three. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. So. Well, my sisters work for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister is away. She, she's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okie dokie, good pronunciation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, right? Now notice the pronunciation of these two words. Meet them, right? So it's a link sound. You put the sound together and say, meet him, meet her. Meet them, right? So it's, uh, uh, when you use object pronouns, the, the words, I mean, the, the sounds are linked. Son sonido unido, right? Meet them, meet them, right? Good. And let me see, uh, month. This is a special sound at the end, right? Este es un sonido que no tenemos en español. Uh, quizás un poco parecido como al, al 
uno pronuncia la S en San Miguel, por ejemplo. Como dice, Mons, Mons, Mons. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mons, Mons. ¿Ok? Good. Now, let's continue. My sister's away. Let's continue and we're going to see the stroke, right? Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? Okay, now we're going to read the second part of the conversation. Vamos a escuchar la segunda parte de la conversación y vamos a contestar estas dos preguntas. Okay, where the Where do Rita's parents, donde vienen los papás de Rita, and what do they do? Pay attention, please. What do they do? So, what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, so here we have these two questions, right? Please answer the two questions. And tomorrow we are going to read your answer. Please don't forget to copy your names here, right? Rocio, ah, here we have a commentary. Tomorrow we're going to read Rocio's commentary, please. But I need more students give commentary. Good, now go and practice family members. Knowledge check, right? Aha. Uh -huh. The family. Listen, please. Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister in law, uncle, wife. Okay? Cousin is for boys and for girls. Father is for boys only. Father, right? The father is. The husband of my mother, right? Okay, my grandmother. My grandmother is the mother of my mother, right? Or the mother of my father, right? Grandmother. Niece. The niece is my the daughter of my brother. The daughter of my brother. Or the daughter of my sister. If my sister has babies and one of the babies is a girl, so that's a niece, my niece. Right? I am the uncle and she's the niece. Sister in law, right? Sister in law is the sister of my wife. Excuse me. Excuse me. Teacher. Yes, yes. Tell me, tell me. Niece, uh, niece, you, niece. you can say niece for a boy or a girl. No, no, it's a girl. It's a girl. Niece. Oh, okay. No Thank boy. You. The girl uh, is nephew. Nephew. N E. P H E W nephew, right? This is niece for a girl, nephew for a boy, right? And again, the niece is the daughter, the girl of my brother, or the daughter of the girl of my sister, right? Okay, that's niece. Sister-in-law is a is the sister of my wife, the sister of my wife. In law, that means bajo la ley, right? So the family of my wife is my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my father-in-law, my monster-in-law, I'm uh, sorry, excuse me, my mother-in-law, I mean, excuse me, okay? My mother-in-law, right? Uh, so that is the family of my wife, in my case, right? Okay, good, and it's a girl, the uncle, The uncle is the brother of my father, the brother of my father or the brother of my mother, right? That's my uncle. It's a boy. It's a boy. And wife is the, the mother of my children, <laughs> the mother of my children, right? My wife. Hmm? Dun, 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 dun. I'm the husband, wife, husband, wife. That's it, right? Now here we have another vocabulary, grandfather and... Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, or wife. So what you're going to do is to complete this information, right? 
using the word, the word here, right? Okay, now let's start with number one. I will give you clues, right? No, but before to start, I will, uh, we're going to play a game, right? And you, uh, you're going to, you're going to answer, right? Le voy a hacer unas preguntitas si ustedes me preguntan. Ahí el que quiera contestar. Listen. Who is the brother of my, of my mother? The brother of my mother. Who is? My uncle. My uncle. My uncle. Very good. Excellent. Uh, this is, these questions are like, uh, ¿Quién es el primo, el cuñado, el hermano, el tío, right? <laughs> Okay, but pay attention, please, pay attention. Listen. Uh, this is the song of my uncle. The song of my uncle. Miss. My cousin. My cousin. My cousin. My the son or the daughter of my uncle. Los hijos de mi tío son my cousin, right? Okay, Listen, the song of my own, the Mitia, right? The song of my own. What is that? The song of my own. Aunt. Cousin. Cousin again, right? Cousin again. Good. Now, who is? The, um, let me see. Yes, the mother of my mother. Who is Grand the mother of my mother? My grandmother. 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 Very good. My grandmother. Okay, and the last one, right? Who is the sister of my wife? The sister of my wife sister is sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Sister in -law. Sister in -law. Very good. Sister-in-law. Now, don't answer, please. Esta no le voy a contestar. <laughs> Tenemos que hacerla todo junto. Okay. Andy is Sam's grandfather. Okay. Andy is el abuelo de Sam, right? And Marta is his. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, here, right? Andy and Martha, right? Andy and Martha. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, continue, continue, please. Uh, the next one. Chris is Sam's. Let's take, take a look. What is Chris? Mm -hmm. Chris. And here we have Sarah. Chris and Sarah. So, Chris is Sam's. ¿Qué es Chris de Sam? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es la relación entre Chris y Sam, right? Okay, Chris is a girl in this case, right? Chris is a girl. No, no, no. Sorry, Chris is a is a, a man. It's a man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. So Chris and Sam. Um, que Sam está aquí abajo. Oh, yes, yes. Ya me perdí. Aún en español me cuesta mí la relación familiar. Chris is is here, right? And this is Sam. Look. Here we have the relation, right? Por aquí está la relación. Huh? So in this case, you say. ¿Qué es Chris de Sam? Next one. Manuel y Sam's. Manuel. Ah, here is Manuel, right? And this is Sam. Manuel is the brother of Sarah. So, what is Sam? What is Manuel? Sorry for Sam. ¿Qué, qué, qué relación tendría Manuel con Sam? Mm -hmm. Ok. Number four. Sam is married to Yumiko. Okay. 
Sam is a boy, right? Here, ah, yeah. And this is Yumiko. Okay, now Sam is married to Yumiko. So she is his, ella sería su. Wait. No, 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 Wait. no, 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 say, no. Excuse me. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> ah, no, oye, no to Kenneth, ya le copió Kenneth. Ya le hizo trampa. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, number five, right? Sam has a brother. He's married to Lisa, right? Sam tiene un hermano, vamos a ver si es cierto. Sam, ah, here, right? Aquí está, ¿verdad? Okay. And then he says, he's married to Lisa. So Lisa is Sam's. ¿Qué sería Lisa para Sam? Aquí está. ¿Qué sería Lisa para Sam? Okay. Good. And number seven, number, yes, no, excuse me. Uh -huh, yes, number six. Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. Teresa, the daughter of Manuel, right? Manuel, Teresa. So, she is Sam's, entonces, ¿qué sería de Sam, Teresa? Okay, Teresa and Sam, right? And number seven, Jim and Lisa have two babies. Jim and Lisa, here, Jim and Lisa, right, have two babies. Kelly and, Kelly and Jim, is that right? Okay, let me see. No puedo ver el nombre. Jimmy, right? Okay. Give me a second. Tengo un mensajito ahí. Okay. Okay, Mirna tiene problemas ahorita. Um, okay, give me a second. Uh, si se salió Mirna, creo que tiene problemas con la cuenta. Give me a second. Permítame, solo le voy a enviar un mensaje a, a, a Mirna que, que tiene problemas. Just give me a second, please. Regálenme un segundito. Que Mirna tiene problemas acá. Ok. Ok. Okay, sorry, excuse me. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. So, Jim and Lisa have two babies. Kelly and, and Jimmy, uh -huh, Jimmy here, right? Kelly is Sam's, Kelly is the Sam, right? Kelly is Sam's, and Jimmy is his nephew, so, right? And Jimmy is su sobrino, aquí está, nephew. Nephew, right? Kelly is Sam's. ¿Qué es Kelly de Sam? Sería la pregunta entonces, ¿ok? Sorry, this is very complicated. Now, do you have any question? How to make this? No, teacher. There no questions. The, the only thing you have to do is to make the relation, right? ¿Quién es el tío del, del hermano, del cuñado, del abuelo, de los hijos, etcétera, etcétera, right? Okay, now. To finish the class, we're going to watch a video about the present continuous, right? And if you have questions, tell me. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. 
What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Okay, now this is the the this is the the way we work with the present continuum, right? Okay, look, uh, listen. These blocks are about the yes no question, right? You say, are you living at home now? Yes, I am, or no, I am not. Is your sister working? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are Ed and Jill? Yes, they are. No, they are. And here we have specific question, right? Where, what, and who? Where are you working now? So I'm not working, I need a job. What is your brother doing? He's traveling. Who? Ah, when I say who, I'm talking about person, right? In this case, my grandmother, right? Specific information here. Good. So do you have questions? Does anybody have question about this? No. No? Okay. Um, the most important thing I want is that you distinguish, you know, the difference uh, between the yes, no question and the information question, right? That's the most important part. And how, how do you form um, the the present continuum. Remember, it's with the verb to be plus a present part, right? Normally, we commit this mistake, right? Normalmente, uno de los errores que cometemos cuando hacemos las oraciones del presente continuo es que olvidamos el verbo to be. Y a veces decimos, they working. En lugar de decir, they are working. O decimos, she, she is sleeping. En lugar de decir, she is sleeping, right? Don't forget that the that the verb to be is very important in this case, right? It's very, very important. Good. So we have uh, homework. Tenemos tarea entonces. Eh, terminar el, el knowledge check, right? Eh, que sería el 5.2, right? 5.2. Esta, esta semana terminamos el curso. Ok, eh, entonces hay que ponernos al día con todas la, las secciones. Si hay algunas preguntas de la sección 1, 2 y 3, algún ejercicio que se les haya quedado, o varios, y todavía no saben cómo hacerlo, no duden en consultarme, ¿verdad? Siempre todas las clases casi les digo lo mismo, no tengan pena en preguntarme, para eso estoy yo, ¿verdad? No solo es mi trabajo, sino que disfruto yo hacer esto porque a mí me gusta dar clases. Así es que no tengan pena en preguntarme, ¿sí? Ya sea en WhatsApp, ya sea en clase. Si hay algo que no entiendan, pues aquí estoy a sus órdenes. So, do you have any extra question? ¿Hay alguna pre pregunta antes de terminar? No, teacher. No, okay, teacher. okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. So, have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks. See you later. Good night. Good night.